Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Transport Fever 2 on the Florin, not Florin, no, I'm looking at Florin, on the Stepford map. Now, we're looking here at Florin, and the reason we're looking at Florin is, uh, you know, we've just done this whacking great line that connected things up to El Dorado and, and stuff, right? Now, uh, what I want to do is connect some stuff up uh, into the the Florin Valley here. Uh, so what we've got here around Florin, we've got uh, Zion and Trantor and Avonlea uh, around Florin here. And I think this is a uh, good opportunity to connect some stuff up. Now, yeah, uh, it's a good opportunity to connect some stuff up. Like, uh, wh whatever gave me that idea, right? Yeah. Um, we don't have passenger service into here, and that is probably causing some of this traffic here. Uh, simply because we don't have passenger service into here. Uh, certainly not rail passenger service anyway. Um, yeah, we don't have trams coming out of there. Yeah, but we do have tram service in here. Now... I discovered a new mod uh, that uh, uh, that's up on the workshop. It's called, uh, what is it, Flexible Stations Experimental. Now, it is a experimental mod, but it's a neat idea because uh, what it allows you to do is build your stations by drawing the track, drawing the platforms, and then turning them into a station. That's actually absolutely brilliant because it, uh, it allows you to build uh, elevated stations, curved stations, sloped stations. It's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite, quite good, actually. And I played around with it a bit the other day. Uh, on this map in another corner, uh, I, I'm not playing that version of the save here. Uh, because that didn't really work out quite the way I want it. But what it would allow me to do is we've got all this stuff that's in the way around here, right? Uh, including the town of Florin. And I could come in here and I could put a... I could put the platform, like the track, under Florin. I could put a big station under Florin. Uh... Or I could put a multi-level thing, potentially. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try coming in with an elevated station in Florin. Now, I'm going to run it this way in the town. And then we'll, we'll be able to come up from Avonlea around through and straight up into Trantor. And on into this area here. And we'll be able to come from Zion through here and probably bring it over to the Springfield or Lilliput uh, area there. That's the, uh, that's the theory, right? So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I wonder, I haven't tried it with this, this thing here. I'm actually going to try a sub, a, a, a below ground, uh, uh, station here. Uh, okay, so it means we need to go one, two, three, four down, right? Uh, no, I think we're going to need to go five down. Yeah, we'll, we'll go five down. We'll make that level through there. Yeah, we'll go there. Okay. Now... Uh, I think that's probably long enough, but we'll come out to about here, right? And where is it? There. Uh, we'll come out to about here. We can go down, down. Okay, we can go down there. Okay, good. Now, uh, I want to have a second track here. Definitely need two tracks, minimum. 
I think we need four tr what? Hello? Okay, good. Uh, we, we need two tracks there for sure. Right? Oh, come on. No. What? No. Um. Right. Okay. Uh, let's try uh, extending that out. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Well, whatever. Now, what I'm going to need in here, we're going to need a passenger platform. So we'll take a five meter platform and we'll put it in here. Yep. Uh, up to about here. That's a long platform, isn't it? Yeah, it is fairly long, but we're running potentially long trains on this stuff, right? Um, let's back it up to there. Okay. So that gives us a uh, that gives us the first start on the platform. Now we need to mark the station. So we go here. Uh, that's the end of the platform. We put one there. We go over here. We mark the end of the platform. It needs to be pointing to the end. Yep. Then we got to mark the extent on the track here and here bam and now it makes a station now we can do that do the same for the other platform mark the track since that tool is active it's actually using waypoints to do this which is kind of neat and then we want to mark the end of the platform and the end of the platform and now we can merge it with the existing station, which was called New Station. So we join it. Good. Now, uh, we can come out here. We can go in here and we can name it uh, Florin. Right? Now, uh, what we need to do also here is we need to... Uh, I need to figure out how to get, uh, get this up and out of the, um, What happens if I do this? Does that give me a... Uh, no, it doesn't give me an exit point. Um, no, it doesn't. Um, configure this. Um, does this give me anything useful? See, I'm trying to figure out how we get a street access to an underground platform. I haven't tried this before. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go in here. What's this? Um, Let's see. Hmm. So it looks like you need to have a ground level platform of some kind for this to work. For the underground stuff. Oh! Subway! Ah! Ah! Okay. So if we were to put this, I don't know, over here, mm 
and we join it to Florin. Aha! That's how we make this sort of thing work. Oh, I see. So we can come over at this end. Oh, right. Uh, we want to put something over on uh, this side as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put one of those there. Join it to Florin. Okay. And then we come over here. And we put one of these here. Join it to Florin. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Now, configure the station. Okay, now we're going to put a couple of these in. Uh, say here and here. Yeah, okay. So that gets us massive coverage of, uh, of the town. Now, we can go back to track laying and grab the uh, high speed track thing here. Uh, we can back that up, right? Okay. Now, we can come out of here. Well, that's not uh, terribly useful, but if we do We do this. Aha. Ooh, hey. I kind of like that. Uh, we're going to grab the regular concrete uh, bridge. Yeah. Nope. That one? Nope. That one? Yeah. That one. Okay, so we come out this way. Good. We come out this way. Okay. So that lets us connect this up into the other business there. And from here, we can come around this way where we can put a station in Avonlea. Yeah, we can stick a station in Avonlea. Uh, well, let's... Uh, Let's stick a station in Avonlea, shall we? Uh, we're going to... Where are we going to put it? I think we're going to put it over here. So we're going to grab here. We're going to grab a building. It's going to be a station. It's going to be 320 high speed. Two tracks. Uh, no. And... We can stick it right about here, I think. What about here? Might be better. Might be. Yeah, might be better. It's not. No, it is. Uh, we'll put it here. Bam. Yeah, I think that might be better. Okay. Get rid of that. Now, we need to get a track coming out here. Uh, I think if we... Okay, we can get it to do a up and over thing if we go uphill here. Okay. Bridge pillar collision. Right. What about this one? Bridge pillar collision. Take this out. Now try building the track. 
Okay. You go up. To there, right? Okay. Now, concrete. Yes. Build. Build. Yeah. You're going to now level that off, aren't you? Well, yeah. Now, if I do this, uh, what happens if I do this? Level. No. Up. 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 Okay. Now. That is max. Okay. How far do I have to go for it to work? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Has to be to there. Okay. Now, we need to come from here and link up with that. Which we apparently can. Okay. Well, that is kind of kind of useful actually. Okay, now you can come and link bridge pillar collision. No. No. That's not a bridge pillar collision. Okay. Good. We'll do that. Right. Okay. Well, that gives us a... Uh, interesting... Uh, track layout, but it allows us to get roads under there, so that's okay. Good. Now, so we come up through here. Okay. And we're going to want to come up toward Trantor as well. Okay, so these guys uh, can go out like this, uh, like this. Oh, maybe not like that. Okay. Now, how do we get up to Trantor? Uh, we could try coming along this uh, this track here, the freight line, right? Yeah, that's a freight line. Which side of the freight line do we want? We want that side. Uh-huh. So what do we get if we do this? We get something that might work. Okay. Let's uh, let's use a cement bridge with yeah okay that's definitely better okay we do that and we do this what no we do this yeah that's what we do. Okay, well that gets us over. Come up to here. Right, okay. Now, we can get... Uh, how, okay, yeah, we can definitely get along that track. Okay, I'm going to try that. So we're going to try this. And connect this. Yes. Yeah, okay, well, we'll try that as a way to get up to Trantor. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will be, that will, I think that will work. Uh, okay, we connect here. And then we can connect, oh, 
that really slows it down. Well, I'm just going to run it parallel. Uh, just because, well, it seems like the thing to do here uh, for the moment. Also, a slow train is going to be better than nothing. Yeah, that did snap. Okay. Now, if we bring this around, really... By following the track around, we know the slope is going to work. That's the... Uh, that's the key part, right? Now, Trantor actually has a reasonable spot for a station. Now, the question is, does it make sense to elevate it? Now, that's a question. Does it make sense to elevate it? I think it might. So I'm going to play with that new... Uh, mod some more. Actually, I'm going to pause it while I do this. Why am I get, taking the buildings out? Because it's easier to uh, sort this out without the buildings in the way. Okay. The idea I have here is we'll put an elevated station here and then we can drop back down parallel to the freight track again and then we can bring up into this area. That's the idea. Now, uh, this is going around too far, so we'll just do that. Yeah. Now, what I want to do is grab a track. Yep. Yeah. And we want to go up, I think it's three, is it? Say to about here. No, it's not three. It's four, isn't it? Yeah, four. Uh, okay, so if we put that there as the... No, I think we'll put it a little further back, like this. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and we're going to grab one of the bridges that this thing comes with, which is a concrete bridge with space pillars and low railing. Right. Okay. We'll grab that and we'll build it. Okay. Now, we come along here and we'll just build our bridge. Now, we'll build our passenger platform, which will go out to, yeah, let's make it the whole length uh, up to here. And then we can do the same on this side. So as you can see, uh, this actually is quite a clever uh, solution to the uh, elevated, uh, etc. station idea. Now, uh, what I can do here is we can come up, uh, select track again. We can come out this way. And here, I think we can, yeah, we can go down. Uh, and then here we can select our regular bridge, right? And then this, now we come out here, do the same. Okay, now, uh, this just needs to come out and on to here. Yep. And good, we are now connected to our new station location. Right? Now we need to just make it into a station. So uh, we, we do the same thing we just did, right? Uh, grab our scheme here. We do this. Uh, this. And 
There we go. And then we do this. Now this is experimental. I haven't uh, managed to, I haven't triggered any crashing with it. Uh, so it does seem to work. We'll join it. Okay, now, and we'll call this uh, Trantor. Yes, good. Okay, now there's something we need to do to make this work, and that is to connect this up to the ground. Uh, let's turn this around so we can see what it's doing. Yep. So we need to connect it to the ground. I'm thinking I'm going to connect it. Yeah, that's probably fine. That the single connection there is probably fine. Okay. Yeah, so we got a good catchment there, so we should be fine. Now, we can close that. So now we've got an elevated station. Uh, now, it's not ideal, but it's a lot better than the other hacks that, uh, that I've seen uh, employed or that I've employed myself, right? So we're going to... No, we're going to need one of these. Yep. And we're going to need some signaling as well. Okay. Signals... Signals. More signals. We definitely need to signalize this mess. Uh, come on. Oh, it's autosave. Yay. Uh, we need a signal and a signal there. Uh, we definitely need one coming into and out of the station here on both ends. Yeah. And then here, I suppose. And yeah, we're going to need also up here one of these. Oh, come on. There we go. We have one. Okay. And we need a signal here. Right? Yeah, I guess I'll stick one here. Now, I need to fling a train at this. Yeah, I need to fling a train at it. Well, what I'm going to do is uh no i'm going to do this yes that should be all i need yeah yeah i think it is yeah that should be fine building i need one of these yeah okay now uh what uh what train are we going to fling at this well let's take a look at what ele what multi units do we have? We have this one, which does 130, carries 88. Ice one does 280, carries 162. 18 times load. Oh, but that's expensive. Hmm. Uh, that one, TGV, yeah. You know what? I'm going to see about the ice one. That one is 282 meters long. That's a long train. That's too long, potentially. Okay. Well. Hmm. No. Hmm. No, maybe. Uh, 
That one is cheaper to run. The TGV is cheaper to run. Yeah, and that one is, well, it's slightly shorter too. Yeah, I'm going to put one of those on there. New line goes here, 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 and here. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So this is going to be an intercity, a, a Avonlea. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it Avon. Uh, Trantor. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it that. Good. Now, of course, uh, you know what we're going to do, right? We're going to ride that and see what that station looks like underground. So we'll start that going. There we go. We'll grab this and we'll get on board. Yeah, let's see what the, what these stations look like underground. Actually, what we're going to do first. Save the game. Yeah. Um, I mean, experimental mod, right? So... Okay, and on we go. So we head on into our tunnel. Should be terribly exciting. As we creep our way out of the depot. Yeah. Yeah, this is the interesting direction anyway, because we're going to see our uh, uh, underground station and our elevated station, right? and uh, see how everything plays out. I haven't tried the underground uh, method of doing this uh, stations here, uh, but it uh, it should work out. I just I, it uh, certainly allowed us to put a station in without bulldozing an entire town which and have good catchment because we could have exits all over the place, right? So that was uh, that was kind of what I was thinking here. So now we come around, and there's our underground station. We have a signal on the way in. Oh, it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't look half bad at all. Okay, so that's what those stairs look like. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look half bad at all. I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. Yeah, the guy that did this uh, underground or this uh, flexible station thing uh, deserves quite a bit of credit for uh, pulling it off, really. Uh, it, uh, I mean, it's rough, but... It's a good proof of concept. Uh, yeah. Uh, and also, these stations, they can be curved underground or elevated or at ground level. So, yeah, that's uh, quite impressive, really. Then we head our way around onto the other track here. Right. Yeah, that's a lot tighter than I would prefer, but sometimes that's just the practical thing to do, right? And I think paralleling the existing track here was probably the, uh, the smart move. Uh, just for the simple expediency that we knew the slope was going to work and it went where we were going, right? And it allowed us to get through all this business here with bridges and everything without having to do a lot of fiddling, right? Now, obviously, the track here can be improved. And I think even the freight line can be improved here. But I can't remember why I wiggled it here. Uh, I might It might have the wiggle there because of slope. 
hard to say now. Uh, right. So getting this, uh, this train moving should hopefully alleviate traffic between the two towns. Right, so we've got an elevated station here. As we come down the hill into the, the town. Right. Okay. And there's our elevated station. We even have passengers at it. So, you know, that's, uh, there's that. Uh, we have one, uh, two at least. So, that's good. And when I do the other connection, which I think will be next time, uh, this should become a lot busier. Right. We have two... Uh... Two passengers. Now, what I could do, I could uh, modify this. I could take the tracks out here and just come out level. Uh, and so we don't have this roller coaster effect. But I'm not going to mess with it. It's, uh, it's working, right? It would be worth doing if we were still running uh, uh, gutless steam trains, but we're not. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much uh, demonstrated that that line is working. Does this look like the traffic's going down here? It might be. Uh, we have a couple people in there uh, already. No, I don't think it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, we still have traffic heading yeah we still need to get zion and zion online and connect down into uh into this area or down here yeah okay right so that's uh that's going to be all for this time uh we've got another line to plumb in around florin here which we'll uh, do next time and that will get this area connected onto the main network. And uh, how that uh, affects things, we'll see then. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, especially now that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And see you back next time.